Hello everyone. Welcome back to Star Trek Online, a solitary story. This time, we're going to infiltrate the Tal Shiar. And to do that, I have spruced up my duds. Um uh, it's at least Tal Shiar uniform. That's just not terrible. <laughs> uh, I've made it my own. As you would expect, Was of there a... something you needed? Enemy action briefing. You've proven yourself to be capable in a difficult situation, and that's not praise I give lightly. The business with Charva was a bit messy, but you didn't get caught in her lies. Mm -hmm. That shows you have a clear head. My character did. If but he's ready, an idiot. We can launch our operation to infiltrate the Tal Shiar and bring back its secrets. Oh, this dining chair is not. He caught the attention of people in the Tal Shiar. Now we need to convince oh. them that you're ready to switch sides. In their minds, you're already a traitor. It won't be hard for them to believe that you're ready to betray Detan as well. So, the re I don't think I've mentioned this on stream yet, or on, in an episode. The reason I'm using a dining chair right now is because my old chair broke. I think I did mention this, actually. But yeah, my old chair broke uh, several days ago. And then I got surprised, um, my wife's parents, Sandman and his wife, um, are going to be, well, not even going to be, they ordered me, they ordered me a Secret Labs chair for my birthday. So it's going to be here in a little while, in a few days or so. And so that made me feel really good, because I'm like, man, dining chair, yeah, uh. I don't, I don't think they want me to use their dining chair. That's probably why. Um, they don't make a whole lot of money, but they're being awesome. I, I like... Sorry, I just want to gush about people who are Sorry. awesome in my life, because people are awesome and I appreciate them. Um, especially for stuff that I need. I'm a big... F One of my love languages is acts of service and it's an act of service to get me a new chair no matter what type of chair it was i'd be grateful for it but the fact that they're getting me a really good chair makes me feel good so just want to gush about my my wife and her family treating me better than 95 percent of my own family does and it's not even just the chair it's just so many things they're such good people my wife is awesome. Her family is awesome. And they're the reason I can speak to you now as a streamer. Because they're so awesome. So. I don't know. I'm, I'm just happy, I guess. It feels good to be loved. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to go ahead and continue with the game now. <clears throat> what do you need me to do? Take this isolinear chip. It has your new identity, background, oh. and credentials. It also outlines our plan for this first operation, and includes the plans for some special tools you may need. In short, you're going to warn the Tal Shiar base in the Unroth system of a pending Federation attack, and assist them in fighting off the Force. In the confusion, you'll have an opportunity to plant some of the data packets on the chip in the Tal Shiar network. The information on them will help sell your story. Good luck. I'll leave for the Unroth system now. Alright. I stand on the table. Because I'm a barbarian. Let us transwell. Oh, man. It looks so much worse than the light. What the crap? It's supposed to be black. But it's got like all these purple and green and gray. Uh, oh, well. I won't be wearing it long. I hope. Begin enemy action. Oh, man. Just realized something. It's been two more years until I'm 30. Ugh. 
I'm getting old, everyone. <clears throat> I'm getting old. Centurion, we need to convince the Tal Shiar that you're a deep cover agent ready to return. Oh, sorry, I had to cough. Fortunately, we have several options to do so. By flying near their relay stations, we should be able to jam them, preventing them from getting accurate information about the invasion, quote-unquote. <clears throat> we can also plant falsified data on their sensor platforms, helping to substantiate our fake invasion. We have set up special unmanned decoy ships that you can destroy in order to demonstrate we are on their side. And finally, you can drive off the attack, quote-unquote, fleet by attacking our forces. Don't worry, they have instructions to feign defeat and warp out before being destroyed. Convince the Tel Shiar you are legitimate operatives by jamming relay stations, planting falsified data on sensor platforms, destroying special decoy ships, and driving off the attack force or attack fleet. <clears throat> Sorry, man, I'm coughing. Okay, let us zoom out on the map a little bit, and then zoom. The system is under the control of the Romulan Star Empire. Leave immediately or we will open fire. This is your only warning. Access code Gamma 40 Zulu. Who is this? How do you have that access code? There's no time for questions. An invasion fleet is on its way. Nonsense. We haven't had any indication of an enemy fleet in this sector. Sensors are completely clear of any intruders. Except you. They are moments away. Get ready. Ah, sensor platform. Who, who am I attacked by? What? Signal relay. Powered engines. Yay. Okay. Uh, let us go attack this one and then do those two platform thingies and then that cruiser. <clears throat> maybe we can actually sneak a little bit. Ooh, maybe not. Right. Oh, we got close to another one. Oh, we're hit by two of them. Yeah, I'm the relay. No, okay. We don't have time for that. Man, why are you guys focusing on me? There's a, there's a freaking warbird right there. Why are you focusing on me? The jerks. Okay, enough, enough with that. I, I, yeah. Now we're both blocking those. Oh my gosh, <laughs> really? This is rude. Well, you're not gonna be able to warp out. Oh, he warped out despite my tractor beam. I call bullcrap. And fire torpedoes. Get wrecked. All right, let me get this freaking relay. They're buying it. Do 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 Gem the relay. Oh come on! There's a perfectly good heavy warbird right there. Why you gotta do this? You got destroyed. Don't lie. Torpedo away. Alright, you know what? Which one is it? Is it this one? No, it's this one, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, get wrecked. 
All right, we got two things we got to do here. The relay and the gas. Now let's do this relay. And sneak by these guys over here and get to this relay, question mark. Oh, I didn't get that one. Oh, come on. All right, well, at least that one's faster. I can go back to this relay. And see about finding a decoy ship or something, maybe. Ah, uh, decoy ship. There we go. Where is this? Ooh, fire on my mark. Oh, I forgot that the, um, this torpedo doesn't get affected by, uh, high yield torpedoes. Forgot about that. Yeah, get wrecked, character fighter. Sense black. One of the easy always. Oh my gosh. They're like wrecking the Telshiar forces in this area. <clears throat> I'm just gonna get this signal relay. And then help with that science vessel probably. Oop. Yeah, let's help with that science vessel. That Warbird's fine. It'll be fine. Oh, there's two of them. I see. I'm glad I came to help this guy then. <clears throat> uh, he died. Just, just so you guys know, his hole went to zero. He died. <clears throat> he legitimately died. Whoops. I accidentally blew up a non-decoy ship. <clears throat> yeah, Federation Science Vessel. Whoops! Sorry, guys, I'm just broken. I actually feel a little bit bad about that. <laughs> whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. Okay, hang on. Uh, full stop. Uh, raid, hello. Um,. Flashy963 is raiding with a party of one. Lucius de Morte is raiding with a party of twelve. Holy crap! Hello, everyone! Monster Cookie is raiding with a party of two. Wow, guys. Thanks so much for the raid. Ra raids. Uh, I should say. Lucius de Morte, thanks for the follow. Appreciate mm -hmm. that. Oh, sorry for the chair noise. Wow. Thank you guys so much. Oh, I'm getting three attacks. I got very distracted there. <laughs> Happy birthday. Ah, thank you guys so much. Yeah, I turned 28 today. Uh, I was just uh, bemoaning the fate that I'm turning 30 in two years. <laughs> Flashy963, thanks for the follow. Appreciate that. Yeah, thanks for the raids, guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> wow. I think this is the most viewers I've ever had, so thank you so much. <laughs> How y'all doing today? It seems we're doubly fortunate. Three of us have been streaming STO tonight. We've been looking for someone to raid. Well, I appreciate the raid. Uh, I really appreciate it. Um, I actually been doing a multiplayer series of it as well. Um, 
my uh, my wife and a good buddy of mine, we've been playing it together. My wife isn't available tonight, otherwise we'd be doing that tonight for sure. Um, but my good buddy is. Uh, so we'll be playing something else later tonight. But we'll see. Uh, Lucius 2 Wave? Yeah. Appreciate that, guys. It's awesome. Don't think turning 30, think becoming a captain. Hey, hey, there you go. Uh, Star Trek. Star Trek humor. I love it. That's a good point. Turning 30, becoming a captain. I like that. <clears throat> Appreciate that, guys. Doubly fortunate. Indeed. We were able to acquire some of the attackers from the Starfleet ships. They are being held in our brig. I'm sure the interrogation will be fruitful. I will assist in the interrogation. I guess. <laughs> I don't know why. Nice, flashy. Yeah, it was pretty nice. I, I agree with that. It was pretty good. Captain, the Tal Shiar have, tr have transmitted coordinates for the lead vessel's brig. They want you to beam directly there. Transport to the lead ship. Transport. Uh, Sphinx, STO, has followed. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate that. If you need a fleet, our fleet is recruiting. I'll think about that. I've been actually thinking about making my own fleet. I just usually like to do that tight band in games. Beam, along with a holographic effect that'll make it appear your target has been disintegrated. If you can arrange a situation where you'll generally, I just like hostage, to be in charge of my own things, you know. Bay. These are your only weapons, and if the Tall Shiar get a chance to examine them, they will see through the ruse. Okay, so don't let them examine my weapons. Um, yeah, I don't know. I've just always liked being in my own clan, fleet, whatever you want to call it. Um, generally because it just feels more free. I don't, I'm not required to do anyone else's stuff. I don't know. Also, a distraction or two could be very helpful. Drake's provided a few things that could work. Keep your eye out for places where you can use them. All right. Master of your own destiny. Exactly. No worries. All right. Fair enough. Definitely would not mind keeping in touch with you guys. You guys want to send me a friend request on uh, STO. Oops. Hang on. There it is. It's right there. Feel free to send me a friend request. Not in the habit of press gaming. Yeah. Fair enough. Thank you. Um, yeah, if you guys want to hang out or stream together, stream STL together sometime, just send me a friend request and I'll be happy. Happy to do so. I'm still fairly new. This is not my first character. My first character is up to level 62 or 63 at this point. Um, and this is my second Romulan character, my first streaming character. Well, solo streaming character. Um, but my Romulan's only up to level 40 uh, outside of this one. All right, so plant explosive. Uh, there we go. Oh, <laughs> the random dodge rolling. Romulan subcommander. Don't shoot. I'm subcommander Kimmick, and I'm your ally. I believe in Deton's movement, and I wish to help in whatever way I can. Mm -hmm. Now I work inside the Tal Shiar, in concert with Starfleet, I and see. a most unusual group of intelligence officers. I can buy you some time in the security subcommander's office, and give you a code that will erase all trace of anything you access in the computer system. Perhaps you can find a way to help the prisoner escape. Interesting. That's a good plan. <clears throat> So if you're turning 28, if I heard you right, that means I started playing this game when you were 18. <laughs> sure. <laughs> um, be in like 2011, yeah. I started playing back in 2017, and then I took a few years off of playing it. I have a habit of... I, I've said it this way before, so I'll just say it this way again. I, I have ADHD. I have a habit of hyper-focusing on video games. <laughs> I've seen what happens to those and then sometimes I get bored of video games and go without playing it for a long time. The security subcommander's office is just down the hall and to the right. Make your way to the security subcommander's office. Okay, let's do that.
I'm only old in numbers, not in my head. <laughs> Fair enough, yeah. You're only as old as you feel. I'm saying no, nothing. I was older than you are now when this game came out. Oof. Fair enough, Nishis. Fair enough. But again, you're only as old as you feel, right? Alright, access verified. Reading sub commander Kimsk. Display prisoner records. So one on occupied. Cell 2, subject 12. Cell 3, pending. Individual records. Access denied. <clears throat> Display security logs. Subject 12 processed. Cell 2, 11, attempted escape. Disciplinary, action, disciplinary actions, enemy fleet engaged. Jane Frederick acquired. Subject 47, subject 47 moved to interrogation one. Awaiting interrogation, return to main menu. According to the computer, subject 47 is Lieutenant Jane Frederick. She's already been taken to an interrogation room. We need to get in there if we're going to have any chance of getting her out of here without further harm. Find subject 47. <clears throat> and that, in that case, I'm 75. Ooh. <laughs> get piked, yeah. Alrighty. Fair enough. I've played on and off since original release. Okay. Fair enough. Trying to add you as a friend, but it seems I mistyped your name. Oh, let me pull that up again. <clears throat> there it is right there. I'll leave it up for a good, you know, 10, 20 seconds. All right. Continue. I tried to stall the security sub-commander, but he's on his way to his office. Get out of there now. The prisoner is being prepped for interrogation. The cover identity you were provided outranks the security sub-commander. If you claim the right to interrogate the prisoner alone, he will back down. Few stand up to the Tal Shiar and live. A successful ruse okay, might save see. you. And the Sorry, I just want to make sure it was you before I accepted. Alter the <clears throat> system feed. I'll go to the holodeck, link into the internal sensors from there, and create an alternative view of what is going on inside the interrogation room. Smart. I like you, Kinnick. Change the surveillance feed to conceal your actions. Understood. Uh... Ah. Catherine Janeway. I assume that's one of you guys. So, I'll accept it. Um, dun, dun. Bully security to control interrogation. Oh, hey, it's the one guy. So, bully security. What are you doing in here? This is a restricted area. I have clearance. Who are you? I'm security subcommander Ren, and this is my office. Who gave you authorization to barge in here and access my secure files? I am your superior officer, and you will treat me as such. Superior? I will not stand for insults in my own office from suspicious officers. Commander Janek will... I'm the agent who just saved your life, Subcommander. Commander Janek invited me on this ship. Your commander? Yes. Of course, Commander Janik knows that you're here. That much is obvious. Has the prisoner said anything useful? The prisoner is a human lieutenant from the USS Delaware. This time for no percent. She she is the, the other one. Mine is Janeway. Okay. But a single human female is nothing compared to my security team. I will assume responsibility for interrogating the prisoner. You want to interrogate the human? Are you hard of hearing or are you merely incompetent? by the Federation did result in some damage to the ship. Perhaps I am suffering some temporary hearing loss. <laughs> I will be certain to check in with sickbay. In the meantime, how might I assist? Very well. I will interrogate the prisoner. See, I am not disturbed. Understood, sir. The prisoner has been secured in interrogation room one. It is down the hall and to your right. My officers will be close at hand should you need further assistance. See to it. 
All right, so just to let you guys know, since you're new to my stream, I record uh, videos for YouTube separately uh, from the stream. So right now, we're at the end of a YouTube episode. The stream will keep going, so if you guys want to stick around. But I need to say goodbye to future YouTube. So future YouTube, thank you all for joining me. Don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you enjoyed any dimension of this episode. It really does help support the channel, and I do appreciate the support. Thanks for watching, all. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.